Et salut à toutes et tous, on se retrouve pour un nouvel épisode sur Unmetal, l'épisode 6. Et... non. <rire> Allez, c'est parti. On va essayer de sortir du hangar. Des grenades, yes. Kit de son, yes. Oh yes. Yes, sir. Ok, je suis là. D'ailleurs, euh, en profiter. Hey Leonard, look, it's the prisoner. Leonard, not Mike. These guys were Leonards. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick, call for backup. So they get the credit. No way. I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls. We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. Guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some training. <laughs> Eat a dick. Fine. I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers. And heal them in case they got injured. Donc ça veut dire grenade. Sainte grenade. Oh genre. Comment je suis censé avoir le terme Mais du coup, ouais, t'es obligé de les tuer. Explosion, elle les tue, non Ça me paraît bizarre. Euh, C'est pas ce que je voulais faire. Souci technique. Voilà, ouais, c'est le bless obligatoire, mais là, formidable. Oh putain, je suis pas touché. Nani. D'accord, la scie fait n'importe quoi après. D'accord, très bien. Let's gong. Non. Bon, d'ailleurs, on va aller casser d'abord la caisse là-haut. Voilà. Mais j'ai fait une roulade, putain Je t'ai mort. Voilà. J'ai dit que je prenais d'abord la caisse là.
Déjà Je vais encore passer un moment là-dessus. Le jeu est encore généré pour te redonner des, des ressources derrière. Ouais, non, mais. Comment t'as le dernier Ah oh, putain, puis tu reprends bien. Ah oh, nice. Ouh, ça va être long. Mais putain, mais j'y tends. En plus avec le level up qui se fait au mauvais moment. Oh mais putain mais les grenades cachées aussi là. vraiment mauvais hein. trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. 
I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. Well, look at what we have here. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first, but this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation... No, I can't it on quick. Before leaving the submarine, I decided to report to Harris about the documents. Did you find anything, Fox? I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, Successfully Completed. Return date, fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course, it's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomolet sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel... What was the sub armed with? As far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation. Which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation. Oh, but confine. While they transport the goods, it has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. No. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're going to transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for <laughs> Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are. 
from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's, uh, literal. <laughs> Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Yeah, j'en étais sûr que ça ferait ça. <rire> C'était juste pour voir. <rire> C'était un test. Il <rire> fallait tester. I finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? J'avoue. To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists, such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I'm, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Merde, putain, vache. Ouais, euh, ça, ça a clairement clean. Euh... Bah, euh... D'accord. C'était la clé du sous-marin. On va essayer. After putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. <laughs> well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? America. Yeah, Fuck yeah. but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collision. Oh putain, <laughs> oh, je sens la fashion. Oh putain. Ah, oh, des mines. Ah, oh, super. Euh, ça passe pas, ça. Hein. Oh, putain. 
Alors ça passait, mais fa fallait pas prendre de, de dégâts avant. D'ailleurs, il y a quoi là Ah putain. Ouais, alors là, ça passe pas, clairement. Oh putain. Je prends déjà tellement de dommages. Tout ça parce que j'ai voulu aller explorer un peu. Et puis là, je peux prendre la mine, quoi. Putain. Une mine Vous appelez ça une mine Concentration. Des toilettes. Formidable. Merveilleux. Il a rien là Ah Ok, let's go Ok, ça tire en face. J'espère que vous appréciez le son. Ok, je pense voir. Faut se décaler légèrement. Je suis juste mauvais, hein. c'est normal. Pas m'en demander plus. Hein. Moi je dirais juste une chose, Yellow Submarine quoi. Oh, 
On était pas sérieux. Du plaisir. Vous sentez la vidéo de une heure et des brouettes avec du sous-marin de gâcher trop de torpilles. Voilà, non, ça se passe mieux. Oh mais t'es pas sérieux là, le, le vieux rebord. J'en ai marre de me cogner les vieux bords à la con. Oh, C'est comme ça que je me tue au final. Hein. C'est plus avec les vieux bords qu'avec euh, les ennemis et les mines. Preuve encore une fois en image. Euh, ouais, mais je passe comment là Tension est à son maximum. Oh, J'en étais sûr que ça passerait pas. <rire> J'en étais sûr. Putain de jeu de démon. On est dans la joie, la bonne humeur, tout se passe bien. là que je voulais avoir je vais trop tomber putain il va me filer une seule Oh non mais vas-y le cul du sous-marin quoi, Yellow Submarine là. Non seulement je peux remettir, mais en plus de ça, je me touche le cul quoi.
Ok, let's go. Là, jusque là, ça va. Ok. Faut donner une save là. Oh, genre, ça en touche pas une seule là. Submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company. Oh, putain. <laughs> Même à l'intérieur du tuyau, il va. C'est dégueulasse. You had to feel lonely, locked in that sub. C'est dégueulasse. Oh putain, j'avais pas vu, j'étais remonté trop haut. You had to feel lonely, locked in.
moult concentration. Boss defeated. I ended up in what looked like a dock. There were containers and stuff. The sea was slightly rough. Oh, and there was a storm. <laughs> Under the rain and the biting cold, the colonel's fate nodded my mind. According to Robert, they were moving him. Was it a routine inspection? Would he be returned to his cell? Would they find the radio? He was an old, annoying, tiresome man. But I feared for his life. Until the radio chimed in. It was Channel One. Colonel, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, Mr. Fox. Thank you for asking. But my rank is General, not Colonel. <laughs> Wait. You're... General X? So, Mr. Fox, have you heard? You've become quite the celebrity. I've been dying to meet you since your debut. So I took this hack job of a radio to call you before your inevitable capture. Where's the Colonel? Don't worry about him. He's in good hands. Say hello, Colonel. Fox, run away! Don't listen to this bastard! Get your hands off me, you fucking moron! Colonel! Seniors say such silly things. I join him in wishing you a happy escape, but you know too much. Sooner or later, you will make a mistake. One that'll prove fatal. We'll see about that, General. Il a un petit côté euh, chez la chasse corps. Hein. Enfin, au slot. D'ailleurs. Alors, là, oui, mais là, il me l'a pas donné. C'est bugué à ce fuck. Le, le jeu est bugué. She's a lovely ship, indeed, and flies like the wind or the waves. Is she yours? She is. I look after her like a treasure. I want to buy her. <laughs> this beauty costs 50 million dollars. I doubt you can afford it. Just 50 million? <laughs> I'm a few dollars short. Hold on, I'm going to the ATM. This escape was going to cost me a lot of money. So I searched in the containers. Why in the containers? It's how people usually smuggle money. Nothing interesting. Nothing useful. Nothing interesting. Useless stuff. Something. 
Mike! <laughs> Useless stuff. Dix millions de dollars. Ouais, plus que quarante. <rire> C'est cool, mais c'est pas ce que je Et forcément, il me shoot au moment là, quoi. Hein, hein là-bas, non Heureusement que j'ai augmenté ma vie. Hein. On a ça que Avoir du pot. Eh. Hey. Money. Fuck! So much 
money. That hook of scrap is all yours. Here's the key. And that's how I bought the ship I would finally escape in. <laughs> ah, merde. <laughs> If only a lightning bolt didn't split her in two. Shit! Why are you giving me back the keys? I want my money back. <laughs> Sorry, no refunds. Shit! No, I can't afford to pay the bills. Bah bien euh, la surprise là. Nothing in. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Merde, je vais pas utiliser ça. <laughs> submarine attack you? That's what I'm saying. I see. And now you're going to tell me you fought it instead of running away. Of course. I would have left it alone if it didn't launch its missiles. And nobody launches missiles at me. Mais ce jeu, bordel. Nuclear sub. Euh... Oui bah bien évidemment, et puis si je fais, si je fais X au lieu de faire Y pour la roulade, ça va. C'est pas là qu'on avait trouvé un... 10 millions de dollars. Nothing interesting. Oh mais putain mais...
Je l'aime vraiment pas ce boss là. C'est un bon flé, je sens. Putain, si tu tires dans l'eau tout à l'heure. Oh, Vas-y, je meurs parce que de toute façon, je tirais mes grenades dans la flotte. Par contre, c'est chiant de reprendre à chaque fois de là. Euh... Ils abusent. Hein. Trop cher pour rien quoi. Ça me gêne. Pas récupérer ce que j'ai encore.
Oh, il y avait des roquettes aussi. Oh putain, par contre. Euh... Ok, donc les roquettes, il faut les tirer sur le machin et tu peux tirer à la grenade. Ok, let's go Vous savez quoi On va arrêter l'épisode là. Hein euh, et on reprendra la suite plus tard. Allez, à ciao, à plus pour le prochain épisode. Ciao, bye bye